Ha <laughs> ha, y'all know what it is. It's your girl, Maisha. Let's build an Ikea greenhouse cabinet. You'll need the cabinet itself. I went with the shorter mills bowl from Ikea because she was in stock and knows not to defend predators like Bill Bill. <laughs> also bought the Skettis Pack board and shelves to organize the plants because I love how clean they looked in Plantier's decorated greenhouse cabinet. Lay out all the pieces and keep them in an organized place because you will use all of them like y'all be using the excuse of Harvey Weinstein to let Phil Cosby go free. You're going to create the base first. There's a tool included that allows you to fasten in the screws, but ditch that because it'll take you all day and opt for a screwdriver instead. It'll make locking in the screws easier and more secure. Everything locks into each other easily like y'all forgot to lock in on the fact that Benzo's bill admitted to encouraging over 50 women to take pills so that he could take advantage of them. Once the base frame was finished, I had to take a little break because I was tired of dusty and crusty people defending toxic heterosexual black men masculinity within a black community. For the base cover, ensure that you align it with the holes on the frame properly. When you add the poles, you don't want to immediately screw the holes tightly. You'll want to align all four poles with their holes and screw them in first and then go back and tighten them once the poles are in place. I got frustrated here because I didn't have a screwdriver and it made screwing the holes tougher so a screwdriver is a necessity. Stop right here because you don't want to add the top layer of the base if you're going to drill a hole in the cabinet for core management. I mean you can but it'll be harder to drill through two metal layers at once. I made this mistake and found that you can't drill through both layers at the same time. It's best to take one layer at a time and drill the hole. To drill the hole, grab a bimetal hole saw that is strong enough like this Linux 2 inch bit that I linked in my Amazon shop in the description box below. Once the drill hit the metal, it started to kick back immediately because I went at an angle like y'all trying to use the angle that there's an agenda to take down the black man to justify y'all being okay with rape culture in our community. I initially drew this all wrong and made it harder like Felicia Rashad and other black women elders who are dead wrong in sweeping rape culture under the rug in our community. You'll want to drill a small hole in the base first, then use the bimetal bit to start drilling the bigger hole, pressing it firmly and going straight down with the drill. Use lower speeds first, clean the bit, and if you have oil, use that to make it easier. As the hole starts to create, then kick up the speeds until the hole has gone through. Like the holes in y'all narratives that Bill Cosby was a pillar of respectability in our community when he was gaslighting and hiding sexual abuse and now is using a black fight as a scapegoat to get out of jail free. After the holes are drilled, add a desk grommet to cover the holes and keep the cord in place. This is also linked in my Amazon shop in the description box below. Now carefully add the glass to all three sides. They all snap into place easily, but make sure that you are aligning them properly with the base so that they don't fall out before you tighten them. Then add the top that will screw into the doors later. It's easier to add the pegboard or whatever you'll be using to hold up your plant shelves before you add the glass doors. I've seen some people get extra nails and washers to add the pegboard, but I just used the screws that came with the board and added it to the holes in the base bowl. Now it's time to add the real lights. Like I hope the light is going off in black women's heads that rape culture affects us the most within our community so we don't have room to cave for black men rapists. You can use these very strong magnets to attach the metal parts of the lights and attach it to the cabinet or use a strong double-sided tape. These products are also linked in my Amazon shop you'll want to add the fans to help increase airflow like this usb fans from amazon make sure that you screw the top of the cabinet into the base pose on all four sides before you add the doors to ensure that it's secured here's another point where the screwdriver will be your best friend to tighten the top Doors are the easiest to attach. Just add the correct screws and snap them onto the cabinet like I'm about to snap some of y'all out of this Stockholm syndrome of loving your abusers because Quaaludes caused the only drug the black community into believing that he was for the culture while vilifying young black men. Let's talk about it. The 
The hardest part is adding the glass shelves. I highly recommend to add the glass shelves before the doors or you probably scratch the doors with the glass like I did. It's easier to add the glass at an angle and slide them down onto the washers. For core management, I use double sided tape to tape the cords to the top and sides of the greenhouse to feed into the bottom hole. It's best to add all the cords first and then do this, otherwise you'll constantly have to lift up the glass and add each new cord like I did. And this is proof that these doors are sturdy enough to endure being slammed shut by a three year old. I was going to add the second glass but it gave no room to add more plants so I did something else with it later in the video. And we add all the shelving by attaching them to the skaters boards and add the accessories like it ain't adding up how y'all go to bat to defend toxic black men but want to burn Shakari Richardson at the stake for smoking a plant that was only criminalized to jail black people. There's a film on the lights that I didn't realize until I added the bottom lights. You can remove it if you want. Added the bottom lights using a double sided tape that came with the lights because turns out it's very strong and can hold weld. Love that only one cord needed it to be connected to both lights which makes it easier for cord management. I taped the cords to the glass for the bottom and top lights to keep it clean. The double sided tape is strong enough to hold the cords well. And my son knew mama needed a kiss because it's draining to still be talking about issues within our community that's been a problem since then. Remove the grommet top and feed all the cords into the hole at the bottom and boom, core management is completed. Took the second glass and added it to the top of the cabinet to really give it that display look. Cleaned the glass first and then took the rest of the double sided tape and put it on each side of the glass to tape it onto the top of the cabinet. Use a smart plug power strip that I found on Amazon that connects to my Alexa to power the whole greenhouse. This is also linked in my Amazon shop in the description box below. Lastly, weather strip the doors to keep the humidity in the cabinet. You only need to weather strip one door at the closing part so that it'll close properly. Weather stripping is up to you. The cabinet automatically holds in lots of humidity. Alexa, turn on the Wi-Fi socket. Okay. And just like that, your greenhouse girl is lit up and ready to accept all of your plant babies who knows that caping for rapists that are a cancer to the black community only makes little black girls who are raped stay silent about their abuse while suffering from years of trauma. For the top, I went with plants that wouldn't fit into the cabinet but needs a little more light to thrive. My peace little girl knows that black women don't get the same energy and protection as black men within our community. The snake plant knows a snake in the community when she sees one and Pill Bill is squeezing the integrity out one sexual assault at a time and my Peperomeo girl is just here for the commentary. Added spag moss for the plants that will be propagated and to keep moisture under my alocasia bulbs that are sprouting for high humidity. Then added in my high humidity and warmth lovers like this allocation black velvet that lost some leaves. This propagated monstera anasana that was just transplanted into my solace mix and is thriving. Added my propagated pothos mixture that has been growing for weeks and finally started to kick out new shoes. This fickle Chinese money plant girl who loves to drop leaves daily but appreciated the high humidity and artificial light. This picky Calathea girl that I'm rehabbing after burning her leaves off by giving her tap water versus distilled. And lastly, my Monstera Deliciosa and Refitifor Tetrasperma mixture.
Now this greenhouse is ready to thrive because she knows that drugging women before intercourse is way too common in date rape for people to be victim blaming. She also knows not to defend a confessed rapist just because he made pretentious TV shows of talented 10 Negroes and gave to a couple of HBCUs to hide his sexual assault on powerless women who never had a voice to speak out. Is y'all promoting rape culture and misogyny in our community for me? I hope this video was helpful. Let me know in the comments below if you've created a greenhouse cabinet or will create one after watching this. If you've been sexually assaulted, please speak out by calling the National Sexual Assault Hotline at 1-800-656-4673. Like, share, and subscribe for more plant tips and social justice commentary.